And staying with cross-cultural identities, let's now meet a Palestinian woman born in Manchester in the United Kingdom and brought up in Kuwait. Reem Kalani is a singer who evokes the musical traditions of her parents' homeland. She sings about Palestine and the Palestinian diaspora. Every woman caught up with her in London. I can't separate my music and my singing from Palestine because both of them says I exist. This uh, reminds me of Hisbat Ramallah, famous uh, vegetable shop and well, market in um, Ramallah. I was born in Manchester. So it's the West Bank of the Mersey River or whichever river, as opposed to the West Bank of Jordan. Well, I spent all my formative years from age 2 to age 26 in Kuwait, really, 24 years of my life in Kuwait. I wasn't born in Palestine. I didn't grow up in Palestine. Yes, I spent loads and loads of summer holidays there, which formed my, which helped shape my musical um, direction. The point that I discovered quite embarrassingly and belatedly is that it's not the victimhood that we need to establish, because I refuse to see myself as a victim in the first place. It's the fact that Palestinians exist. It's the whole point. So it's not I'm a victim, it's I exist. Nahnuhuna, we are here. Music, specifically in Palestine, Lebanon, Syria and Jordan, we say oh but it's got to come from within. And it's really off, man. It's, I mean, it's the blues. One of the first songs I became aware of is American Pie. You know, every, you know, we used to sing that. We, you know. So we were also subjected to, to pop music, Western pop music. Um, uh, my father was, still is actually, a keen fan of Fred Astaire, so he sang all Fred Astaire's songs. So I also grew, um, grew up listening to Gershwin and Berlin and loving their music and still, to this day, loving it. Um, so you've got all these influences and you can't separate yourself from them. So all this business of the clash of civilizations is just beggar's belief. You acknowledge your pain, you acknowledge your loss, but you're not a victim. That doesn't make it less of an injury, that doesn't mean that your oppressor hasn't hurt you. But I don't have to say, oh, no, that's rubbish. I'm coming to pick up my turkey. <laughs> Chris, you don't play my CD. Oh, okay. <laughs> to talk about clash of civilizations, it's halal turkey for Christmas. You too have a good season, yalla. You have a turkey every year? Yeah, when we were, I mean, even my aunt, my mother's sister used to have turkey in Nazareth, you know, I mean, and we're still Muslim and, and proud to be. This is it? This is it. The struggle is neither about land nor about religion. When secular Palestinians talk about land, they're wasting their time and they're after their seats, not after anything else. And when dogmatic Palestinians talk about religion, they distort the image, which is actually serving Zionism, because Zionism, in its cruelest forms, always portrays it that it's a century-old conflict between Muslim and Jew. Well, it's rubbish. First of all, around 20% of the Palestinians are Christian. So, it's not between Muslim and Jew. I started really working actively on this CD in 1986, and it came out in the 2006. Um, so it's really the songs that influenced my childhood, my teenage years, my 20s, my 30s, and God forbid, the beginning of my 40s. Far back in 1992, when the BBC had a documentary about the um, massacre of Sabra and Shatila and they said could you work on a tune provided you don't say massacre Sabra Shatila Palestine Israel Lebanon 
but um, please talk about it. Art at its purest form is when you do not separate the personal from the collective and you do not separate the spirit from the body and you don't separate yourself from your audience. It's when these three things meet is when you have that moment of param or the Spanish called duende. <laughs> على سياج الحدائق وما خسرت سبيلا the, the very quotation <coughs> that I use in the sleeve notes is a fantastic sentence by Mahmoud Darwish. For years and years I've been singing this verse وعن دفاعي أدافع without even realizing what it meant. I defend my right to defend my right. Even the defense for Palestine has been occupied by so-called anti-Zionist Israelis. They're even occupying our defense for Palestine. I'm not gonna give you that anymore. Over my dead body. <laughs> Kalani with songs from Palestine there. And that's it for now. Do email us your comments at everywoman at aljazeera.net. From all the team, until next time, bye-bye.